Sato's Transgression by Capricorn Media. This is a beautifully animated but very short puzzle experience available for free on Itch.io. You're an old wizard who journeys out into the forest after a power failure in his home. From what I could gather, it's a short tale about people and machinery and perhaps why too much technology could be a problem. Well, that's what I took from it anyway. As I mentioned, it is only short, but it's well worth a playthrough if you only have a few moments to spare, just to appreciate how well made some of these little indie projects can be. Ignite by Russ Nacklab. Like those slidey tiled puzzle games? You do? Well, you'll bloody love Ignite then. You don't? Well, you may still like it. I'm not a fan of them personally, but I still liked Ignite. It goes without saying, it's a beautifully looking and sounding game, with its watercolour aesthetic and its meditative, ambient score. And it also has a short length, so the puzzles don't, thankfully, get too frustrating. It's pretty much as simple as moving the character around and clicking on the puzzles to partake. Once it's solved, it unlocks another one. The general aim, story-wise, is to provide life to another being similar to yourself. Not much else to say about Ignite really, other than it's definitely worth playing as it costs nothing. Ignite is available now on itch.io. So, here we are. Here we are indeed, a fabled set of androids. Fanbots by Lost Train Dude. Very short and pretty straightforward, Fanbots is a point and click adventure in which you play as a little helper robot assisting the other robots or botties as they try to revive their favourite TV soap opera androids. It seems that there is a problem with the elevator. All expected. We'll perform, Jack. It features full voice acting, although it could probably do without it if I'm honest, and is worth a playthrough if you're a point and click fan. Just don't expect a great deal from it. Fanbots is available now for free from itch.io. Irony of Nightmare by Step Hair Studio. This is a surprisingly good and effective horror game, as there are, of course, lots of jump scare horrors to choose from, but not all of them hit the mark in what's become a very saturated genre. Sitting at your computer, we quickly learn that the protagonist is alone in his house during the Christmas season. It becomes apparent that we aren't quite as alone as we first thought when we're led on a merry little jaunt from room to room, trying to work out why the doors are locked and, more importantly, who or what is locking them and how can we escape. The controls for opening doors isn't as intuitive as I first thought and translation can be pretty poor in places, but all that aside, the game sets a very tense and gripping atmosphere all throughout its short playtime. Featuring currently a couple of endings, Irony of Nightmare is in early access on Steam for 79p. Via Tori by Carol Bellina an atmospheric, lovely-looking puzzle platformer in which we control a robot who's searching for components in a bid to return to its base. Utilising the robot's telescopic arms, we traverse dank, underground caves, mine shafts and some overground in what turns out to be a mildly taxing affair. Given that the play area is relatively small, it does take a little bit of ingenuity to work out how to get to some of those seemingly out-of-reach areas. Viatori is free and available now on itch.io. Madcap Castle by D.L. Mormack. As soon as I fired up this quirky little game, I was brought straight back to the Game Boy days with the evocative graphics and sound. We take control of a mage who's pissed off that the batteries for his handheld console don't last very long. So off he goes to discover the legend of the infinite batteries. Madcap Castle is basically a series of puzzle rooms in which you'll need to use your wits, platforming skills and a series of rather bizarre spells to progress. Although it can get pretty frustrating at times, it really does give you an addictive challenge, and there are even boss fights added to the mix too. The game is currently available on Steam for £5.39, although there's a demo which features 45 rooms and 3 boss battles, which is a steal, and more than enough for you to decide whether it's something you'll enjoy playing more of. Waves by Squid in a Box any shooter fan should really get on with Waves. It's relatively straightforward in that it's a twin-stick shooter, but it focuses a lot on your combo meter, being as that's how you earn your smart bombs, and believe me, they come in handy. With seven different modes, a pulsy, catchy soundtrack, which is available to buy separately, and smooth gameplay, it's one that's very hard to put down. Trust me. Waves is available now on itch.io and Steam for £3.99. The Quiet Mind by Broccoli Ghost. In regards to short, mildly challenging and fun experiences, The Quiet Mind delivers perfectly. A straightforward platformer, our character needs to collect mysterious orbs to free a spirit who seems to be trapped inside a monolith whilst dodging enemies and talking to vague-minded ghosts who are scattered throughout the area.
The Quiet Mind is free on itch.io. Last Week by Whatever Zone. Not too dissimilar to the side scrolling horror Lone Survivor, Last Week is a survival horror sort of RPG in which we play as a girl who's mysteriously ventured into a school at night and must solve a series of rather weird and random puzzles and tasks while sticking to the school's rather strict rules. As far as I could gather, the main character called Nappa needs to stay alive until the end of the week. The days are changed by her altering them on a calendar as time stands still in this sort of pseudo-school hellscape that she's journeying through. I'll be honest, it had me engaged for a little while, but it's pretty random in regards to where to go at times and who or what will lead you to your sometimes very surprising demise. It lasts a few hours, costs nothing, and is available now on itch.io. Sunbeam by Stonebaked Games. From the off, it's apparent that Sunbeam is influenced very heavily by The Witness. One of the differences being that here, the puzzles generally stay within the same structure throughout, something I really liked, as although games such as The Witness are fantastic accomplishments, they aren't going to appeal to those who aren't absolutely in love with logic puzzles, such as myself. They're always good to break up a game and add a bit of variety, but a huge game filled with different types of them can be overdoing it slightly. Here we traverse a small planet and attempt to solve an array of sunlight, reflection, solar charging puzzles to open the way forward so as to light all of the lamps in the starting area. The general rules of each puzzle really won't take that long to work out, and although some of them did get quite tricky, you won't necessarily be left feeling stumped and frustrated. There's also a general story as to why you're there, which you can follow from text logs that are imbued in small rocks scattered throughout the playing area, although it's really not imperative that they're read at all. One of the best things about Sunbeam is that you'll get a good hour or two out of it and it'll cost you absolutely nothing. I've had far less quality for $10. In my opinion, this really is an awesome achievement from Stonebait Games, which leaves me looking forward to whatever they develop next. Download Sunbeam now for free from itch.io. Arrow Point by Spotted Zebra Software. Arrow Point is a game in which you play a cowboy archer. The premise is very straightforward. You ride through some corral-like corridors and try to hit the targets, some of which are stationary and some aren't. The controls are nice and slick and it can be quite taxing at times trying to hit so many targets before you pass them, but that only makes it all the more satisfying when you do. It all turns pretty standard at the end when in typical spaghetti western fashion you come up against a flying cyborg whale. So unoriginal. Arrow Point is currently 67 pence on Steam. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you liked, leave a like and maybe share to help me spread the love and support for our awesome indie developers. I'll see you again soon.